Well, welcome back, my fantastic artist, deep friends, to Painting with Master Temple. Now, we've got a little bit of an unusual thing to paint on today. Not our usual canvas, or canvas boards even, but um, we've got a piece of wood, a nice flat piece of dry plywood. And um, possibly about 20, 25 years ago, I saw a Bob Ross video where he painted the wood grain effect on, uh, on, a, on a canvas, but I thought, let's just get some wood and try and paint on there. Now, we can't use wet on wet with the pure wood because the wood will just quickly suck away your liquid white, your liquid uh, clears and blacks and things like that. So, I don't know how this is going to go, but we'll do as best. Okay, so, yeah, pure wood. All right, so I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to take a one inch paintbrush. Let's start with this. And these are just the same paints as I usually paint with. Windsor and Newton Winton oil paints. Okay, I'm just going to load the paintbrush full of phthalo blue. Load this one inch paintbrush full of phthalo blue. I'm going to start off with a couple of clouds, okay? So, so I'm just going to smush in just some blue, okay? Just a bit of blue. We'll not go right to the edge. But we'll just put a nice bit of blue, just as a little bit of an undertone. Okay, I want the wood to be one of the main features of this. Okay, and the the wood will start to 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 soak that that oil paint up quite quickly. Okay, so just a bit of bit of bit of blue on there. Okay, just let me grab. We'll grab. We'll grab this half round brush since we've got that going. And I'm gonna grab just a little bit of titanium white. And I'm gonna come up here and I'm just gonna put some cloud shapes just on top of that blue. Okay, just swirl the brush like we're making a big cloud. And it'll pick up some of that blue, obviously. Keep going. It'll pick up some of that blue just like that. Now we're going to blend that out, okay? So I'll use this little blendery brush and I'm going to blend the phthalo blue into the white. Don't touch the top edge of the uh, of the white clouds just yet. We'll come back and tinker with them in a moment, but just just like that, okay? And then lightly fluff up. Lightly fluff up. <laughs> It's almost like painting with acrylics. If you paint it with acrylics, they dry quite quickly. Okay, and this is drying not quite quickly. It won't dry for a day or two, but um, it, it, it does take, um, it's almost it's almost there already. Okay, right, so a little bit more blue. So we'll go back to the blue. Maybe even grab a tiny touch of crimson just to change the flavor of that and just add a little bit more. I don't want to go mad on this. Just down there, like that. Just like so. Okay, and then back to the, the brush with the white paint on. And we'll have another cloud that just lives there. Just swirling. If you get too much blue, all you need to do is just turn the brush over. Okay, and we're where the blue and the white mix together, we'll get a nice cloudy shape. There we go. Maybe even put another one up there. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Like so. Okay, let's go back to the brush which we were blending with. And then just turn that, just turn that down. Just like that. There we go. So we've got another Another cloud that just sneaks in there. Again, just tease, tease that into the board. Like that, so we've got some big old clouds, haven't we? Let's put another cloud in, so back to the white paint. In fact, I'm gonna use a fan brush this time. Fan brush, plenty of white paint, plenty. And we'll come back in there Get a bit more control over the fan brush. There, like that. 
maybe even tinker with this one a little bit. Yeah, like that. It's all about just finding a brush that is fit for the job you want it to do. Yeah, like so. Okay, and then back to this one and twist and turn. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Yeah, I picked this this piece of wood up and I thought, ah, nice one. I know what I can do with that. I can make a lovely, lovely new palette. And then I, and I thought, well, why not paint on it? Why not paint? Why not give it a, a bit of a painting? So that's what we can do, isn't it? That's what we can do. Let's come in there and really put another one in there. Wherever you want them. Wherever you want them. Maybe grab a bit more blue. I think we might need a bit more blue there. Just picked up some white by accident. All right. Just a bit more blue. Just tap it in. Just there, like that. Wherever it should be. Wherever it should be. Back to the blender. And tease away. And tease away. And then fluff it up. And side to side so there we go we've got some nice big clouds just like that maybe we touch some of these up we highlight some of these if we wish like that maybe that one's got a bit of a sparkle on it as well where the sun's really shining okay so I think we're gonna put uh, a mountain in this if I, if I think back to how Bob painted his he had a mountain on his I believe so We'll, we'll put a bit of a mountain in there. So I'm going to wipe off the excess. Okay, I'm just going to wash that brush out. Odorless paint thinner. Shake off the excess. And give it a dry. Give it a wrap. In fact, we'll do the same on this one. Might as well wash the brush as well with a odorless paint thinner. Shake off the excess. And give it a good wrap. Okay, right, let's put a mountain in this. Okay, so let's take some black, a touch of crimson, and we'll get some Prussian blue. Black, crimson, and Prussian blue. Okay, and let's put a mountain in. So we'll start off maybe about there. I don't know how this is going to take. I'm really pushing, bend the knife. You see, I'm using the small knife. Use the big one if you wish. There. And just down. And it takes a lot of paint. If you've got some paint left over, this is a very good painting to do. Yeah. Yeah. What we're saying, just try and fill that up for the dark colour. Oh, yes. Okay, fan brush, whatever this one had on it. Just had a bit of blue, didn't it? So that's fine. I'm just going to grab some of this, remove the excess paint, just paint into that wood grain uh, down there and there. Take it off to nothing down there. Nice for a log cabin, apparently, these log cabins and, you know. Holiday homes and things like that. If you've got a wooden, old wooden living room or something. Yeah. Yeah, you can be an agony city, as uh, as the big man used to say. Agony city trying to move, move paint on a dry canvas. All right, let's put some highlights on that. Okay, so white paint. Titanium white paint. All right, and then just there, I'm going to be very delicate this time. Not, we're, not, we're not bending the knife. We're just being very delicate. Very delicate. We want the paint to break. Paint to break, just like that. You see, as it breaks, we have all those little holes and bumps. and Just there, like so. There. Yeah, of course it's quicker with a big knife, but we're in no real rush. Yeah, 
probably come back and tinker with some of this colour in a moment. Right, white, Prussian blue. And let's make a, a shadow colour. Okay, so on the opposite side, we're coming down this way now. Again, let the paint break and jiggle. Just let it break, let it go, let it go there, down. And a bit more on here. There, there, there. Keep loading the knife, keep loading the knife. If you run out of paint, load the knife back up. <laughs> Here we go, maybe a bit more, I think I see a bit more there, and across there like that. Take some of that, and just push into the, we're going to blend the base of this, so we want to push some of that in. Okay, let's go back to the highlight colour, which is just pure titanium white, or as pure as we can get. Uh, uh, maybe just come down there. Maybe a touch up here as well. Just looks a natural place just to have another little peek. Just playing with us. And then around there. In fact, we can push this one about. If we just take this and go around like so. There we go. We've got a couple of a nice big mountains in fact we'll just redo this edge there like that that easy we've created a couple of mountains okay i'm just going to grab a bit of this white and just really push it into the into the wood just like that just a bit of white into the wood, maybe a bit of that blue. Shadows. Wherever we want them. Wherever we want them, folks. Wherever we want them. Okay, uh, let's take. Let's take a. Let's see if this is firm enough. It might not be firm enough. No, it's not. Whatever I do, this will do. It's had the white paint on, the cloudy colour. So we'll just tap in there, tap, tap, tap. Just tap, follow the angles of the mountain. Follow the angles of the mountain. Same on this way, pick up some of that blue. Here we go, just tap, tap, tap. And then just gently lift up, just gently do so. There. Now we've got a mountain that's sitting in the mist. Of course, we can't blend any of this out. But just a little indication that <laughs> the sun's shining right at me now. There we go. Right, let's put a little foothill, I think, in with all this. So where is a fan brush that I haven't used? We'll use this one, actually. This hog air brush. Okay. And a bit of green, okay? Just some green. Now this is a a green I've made from sap green and cad yellow. I usually save all the yellows, and we end up getting a bit of a. That's why I wear the hat. The sun shines right the way through. <laughs> so I save all the yellows off the palette, and just end up. Um, making a nice green with them maybe that goes right the way up there like that maybe over a little bit again it's not going to be a complete reproduction of what bob ross painted but as long as we get it somewhere near there like that okay nice little valley there 
yeah nice little valley okay let's go back to the uh, the brush with the white paint on where we can just just tap the base of that just there miss that up a little bit it's very difficult the liquid white would usually do that in a minute or two for us it's very difficult on a dry board i have seen these in art shops where you can buy wooden boards for you to paint on but um, no good for wet and wet technique no good they're like that let's paint another one let's paint another one so same color what i'm going to do is just grab a bit of viridian into that now a bit of the viridian color okay we'll come down here need that white misty area between and change the flavor of the paint as well as we progress forward or it won't work will it it'll just look like one big big massive color you want to separate these up okay again i'm just lifting up slightly maybe give the indication of some hills and trees and things just grab a bit more of that green there you see if you get one color that's big dead and flat and you don't like it change it just change the tone change the flavor all right Let's go up. It was up there perhaps down like that maybe we'll fill in a little bit there as well Okay, let's blend all that back out. So again, we're gonna to touch a white paint on this. And again, we're just gonna to touch the base where the green is. So we've got green and white just mixing, just mixing there. I think Bob had a, a lake. I think he had a path as well and a tree. I'm not too sure. I have seen it a billion times, but sometimes, sometimes my memory plays tricks on me. Just blend that out now. Okay, and let's put another one in. Okay, let's grab a bit of that mountain colour, that mountain black, crimson, and blue. Add that to the green, so we've got a nice dark green now. A nice dark green. Maybe a bit more green in that. There we go. That looks good. So we've got some rolling hills now. Rolling hills. I think there would be a pond round about there, let's say. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm just going to fill this in. Fill it in. Take it to the edge. Like a vignette. Same on there, like that, like so. In fact, I see something. I'm gonna scrape that off. And we're gonna get the white paint again. Get back into that white paint and blend that out. Blend that out. That looks a bit too white at the moment, but don't worry about it. See how hard it is to make reflections? You just can't do it. You just cannot do it. All right. Tap, 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 tap. Create that other misty area there. Want another peninsula there, I think. So just tap, 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 tap. There, like so and then just tease that out right so we said we're gonna have another peninsula so let's grab a bit of the darks and the greens and then we come across there like that and that's what I mean you need that misty area of it will not work it will not play with you and anyway we'll paint mm. Let's get a fan brush, let's get a cleaner one. 
let's put a few highlights on this so with that green we'll take some green and cad yellow cad yellow tiny touch of blue prussian blue thalo blue whatever blue you've got going on with a cad yellow okay and then we're just going to tap down here just tap and every now and again pick out a bit of an highlight on top of these little darky color bits of foliage just a bit use the fan brush just like you would do on a big painting painting grass there just individual clumps and bumps like so and a bit more maybe there i think there would have been a path somewhere if i, if I think of i think there is in there there is in the original there just bring that down like that okay now we're getting some definition and change there. like that have you ever painted this one i'm sure all my bob ross friends and artists out there have, have tried something like this in the past i'm sure of it yeah, like so one more time we'll come across here and we'll do this one now again if you tap a little bit too much you'll end up making the paint a little bit darker as it picks up the paint that you've already put on I want to put some more dark. I want to put some more dark. So we'll put some more dark down there. There, like so. We'll fill that in as well. Well, when we're at, we might as well fill that in. So before we carry on with that, let's think about the water. The water that's down here. So how are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? I'm going to take this this big old number 10 fan brush and I'm going to take some paint thin. No, it's not paint thinner. Come on, Dan, get with it. Liquid white. Liquid white and a little tiny bit of Prussian blue or thalo blue. Prussian blue we've gone for. See what happens now. So I'm just going to put touch on and pull down it's very dry very dry very dry it's almost it's almost painful <laughs> gives good effects but it's kind of painful to work with but you can do it if you've run out of liquid clear and liquid white you can do it it's not always ideal, but it's practice. And time spent practicing is definitely not a waste. It's definitely not a waste. Grab a bit more of that white and just put it in there. Like that. There we go. Maybe a bit more on this side. <laughs> well we live and learn don't we okay so let's just set that brush to one side we'll put a water line in a moment okay um, I hope you can see that because the <laughs> the sun's really shining against it now it really is bright in fact let me sort that out right now <laughs> Oh, well, we're blinded by the sun. Who knows? Who cares? Right, we're just having fun anyway. So, I'm going to grab some of this. I'm just tapping there. Right. So, now we've got our white parts of the water. We'll just pull straight down with some green. Okay. It happens. It happens. And I'm not going to edit it out. 
we don't edit these videos try and keep them the same consistency throughout the channel some videos we do edit but we just have to do can't help that okay so we pulled a bit of that that color down all right let's go into some liquid white now that's what happens when you have to paint at the very end of the day and it is one of the warmest days of the year as well okay so let's just carve in a nice little waterline just like that okay just carve in a lovely little waterline don't worry about this part here okay and then come around that corner there a little bit there where, whoop. like that maybe there like so does it go around it does like that okay another one or two splints and splashes out there you can take the brush and just gently go across okay let's add some more highlights onto this up here now if it's not sticking because there's a bit of paint there if it's not sticking just thin it down a touch just thin it down a touch bit of paint thinner should work wonders okay same on this one just like that okay there we go let's encase that in let's let's get let's get crazy okay let's get crazy trying to find the paintbrush now we'll get some black and we'll get some sap green and all we do just come around here black and sap green like that I don't want to go far I don't want to go far black and sap green I bet you were all laughing when the sun was in your face. It's creeping back around again. I should be out there. I should be out there having a good time, shouldn't I, really? <laughs> With a barbecue. With a barbecue. But instead, I'm painting for you guys. Right, black. Burnt sienna. Black and burnt sienna. Let's put a tree. I think there were a tree in. I think just there. So we'll put a tree in. Okay, like that. Now let's take some of this burnt sienna, a bit of white paint, a bit of white paint, that burnt sienna, and just down the side where the highlight of it is where we're going to put some highlights of his own on this tree. that again gotta make sound effects it just does not work for you well it probably does it probably does right so maybe a bit more there like that okay let's clean off this brush because we're going to put some highlights on We're gonna put some highlights on this foreground. We need to put some something up here on this tree. So before we get onto that tree, we'll put some highlights down here. Okay, so yellows and greens. Yellows and greens, maybe a touch of the thinner, just to thin it down somewhat. And then just mm, I think we're a path there, but we'll just maybe it's overgrown this one. Maybe the path. Has gone. We'll just put some individual clumps and bushes, maybe change the flavour every now and again. So we'll come back to that one. Just there. A bit more there. Like so. There, like that. A bit more yellowing on that one. That's good. That's what we like to see. I'm going to grab a bit of Indian yellow. 
as well. That'll tone this one down a bit, make it a bit more golden. Like so. There <laughs> we go. Oh, I love this brush. I love this brush. Look at what it creates for you in a couple of seconds. Look at what it can do. And a bit more at the feet, just down here. A couple more back there. Paint right over the tree bark if you can't get in. If you can't get in. Can always come back and reaffirm that up. Different greens, different greens. There we go. Right, we need something up here, don't we? <laughs> we need something up there. So let's take the big flat filbert. Flat filbert. Greens and browns and blacks. Load it up, bit of paint in it as well. Okay, we'll just push up. Okay, give it a nice little spike on the top and then like that. Into the cloud, just go straight into the cloud. That's all we need to do. And a bit more down here. Big old Scots pine or something along those lines. Yeah. I can't remember if this were in the original, but we'll go for it today. We'll go for it, no problemo. Just leave it like that. Just going to tickle up that so it's all nice and neat. Couple of little do-for-you-do's that are focused in that way. Maybe one or two that are going that way as well. There. All right, let's put some highlights on that. So again, don't clean the brush, just go straight into CAD yellow. And again, if it doesn't stick, paint thinner. Paint thinner, CAD yellow, and that dirty brush. Okay, and let's come up here, ever so nice, and gently just put in a couple of highlights. Don't go mad. These trees are usually quite dark. Usually quite dark. Oop, a bit too much yellow on that. That's okay. You get a bit too much yellow, hit it a couple of times, and it'll go away and leave you. We'll play with someone else. There, like so. So there we've got it. As nice Scots pine. A little bit of foliage out there. So, let me know, did you like this one? Have you painted this one? I know, uh, I can't remember the last time I did something like this, but it's been really nice painting on this board. Have you ever painted on a wooden board? Let me know. Okay, I'm just gonna sign this one just there. Okay, it's not a replica of Bob's, but well, he gives his ideas and inspiration, doesn't he? All right. Time to write as well. But if you like this one, give me a thumbs up, give me a big comment, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, take care of yourself, stay safe, happy days, right? I'm off to go sunbathe, take care, see you then.